Number 25 in the 42 ideas on leadership is Blake and Mouton's managerial grid. This is also called the leadership grid. This consists of examining what leaders actually do, what their behaviours are, as opposed to their characteristics or their traits. So it's a behavioural leadership style. There's two dimensions on this leadership or managerial grid. Concern for people and concern for production. And concern for production is a focus on the task or the objectives of the organisation, whatever they may be. And when we create this grid, we've got nine squares on either side. So the grid on the x-axis is nine, concern for production and tax, or on the y-axis, it's a concern for people, again, measured in nine, which leads us to five different types of leadership styles. Okay, these five leadership styles are impoverished management, task management, middle of the road management, country club management, and team management. Now, the impoverished management is clearly the worst type of management. It's a low in both concern for people and concern for production, one and one. It's a minimum effort, it's not worried about employee satisfaction, and it leads to disharmony or disorganization. Of course, the focus here is on job security and seniority, so it's a, a leadership style that is completely focused on the needs of the leader rather than the people who are working for the leader or the organization itself. The task management or the authority compliance style of management is very high on the focus for the goals and the objectives of the organization, but very low on the workers. This is a theory X style. That's a scientific management type of style. The focus is on production. People are just another tool to achieve the goals of the organization. They are a means to an end as opposed to the end itself. So there's a focus here on systems and processes, very effective in the short term, but in the long term, it leads to high labor turnover. People are leaving the company and entering the company on a regular basis because they're not satisfied with the way they're being treated. The middle of the road style is a compromising style of management. Now, it leads to average performance because of the fact that neither personal or organizations and goals are completely met. And it does this partially through avoiding conflict. So it's neither too much, too focused on the production or too focused on the people. The country club style of management, on the other hand, it creates a friendly and comfortable environment. It's completely focused on the people, creating a collegial, agreeable atmosphere where the leader is nice to everybody. And uh, it's low task focus. And as a result of this lower focus on the task and the objectives of the organization, it may lead to possibly lower results. The 9-9, the, in theory, the best type of management here is a team management. This is using theory Y, and it's about empowerment, trust, commitment, and respect. Now, conflict does exist, but it's out in the open. Because of this open team atmosphere, we're able to discuss things. And it's supposed to lead to high employee satisfaction and high levels of production. The uh, Blake and Mouton look at two different types as well. The, the paternalism, maternalism style of leadership, which is not combining the um, country club management or the task management type of leadership, but using them separately. This would lead to an idea where you create a, a company like a family almost, but you treat the people in the family or in the organization like children, so that you have to be constantly after them, trying to get them to do tasks, so that you, you do treat them like a mother or a father figure, but that you have to push them to get them to deliver results. And the other type of leadership that they discuss as well is opportunistic or strategic leadership. Now, depending on your view, this could be opportunistic or strategic. The, the, the use is the same. It means that you adapt your style depending on the situation. You will use country club or you will use team management or middle of the road depending on the situation. Now, if you're a little bit cynical about this, you would say that the reason people do that is out of self-interest and that leaders adapt their style because of self-interest. That means you would say the leadership style is opportunistic. However, if you believe you're doing this for to, to get the best possible results for the organization, and therefore that you understand that different styles um, create different results, then you would be a strategic leader. So depending on your viewpoint on whether you should adapt and adopt, then you would use one label or another for this style. So this is the managerial or the leadership grid by Blake and Mutin, which is nine elements on either nine scores on the X and nine scores on the Y. 
access which lead to five leadership styles impoverished management task management middle of the road management country club management or the optimal style team management that's number 25 in the 42 ideas on leadership comes to us from Blake and Wooten and is their managerial or leadership grid.